We live in a shocking moment in time. Pandemics, financial crises, populism, terrorism, and anti-globalization all threaten to tear us apart. But instead of being overwhelmed, let's take a step back, gain some perspective, and recognize we've been here before. We're living through a second renaissance, and we can gain courage and wisdom from the first. 500 years ago, voyages of discovery by Columbus and Magellan redrew all maps of the world. Today, globalization has done the same. Gutenberg's printing press flipped the stock and flow of ideas from scarcity to abundance, just like we're doing now through digitization, the internet, and social media. Genius flourished then. Michelangelo and da Vinci transformed art. Copernicus transformed the heavens. And it's flourishing now, in every field, from synthetic biology to nanotechnology to artificial intelligence. But risk is flourishing too. Then and now, new maps and new media don't just connect us, they tangle us together, making us all the more vulnerable to economic, environmental, financial, and biological disaster. They also divide us, making some big winners and others big losers straining the social bargain that holds us all together with political shocks from the bonfire of the vanities to today's populist movements. For all that, the first Renaissance left a positive legacy that we still celebrate 500 years on. Now is our Renaissance, our age of discovery. And if we learn the lessons of the first, we can still make the 21st century humanity's best. Find out more in Age of Discovery the best-selling new book by Chris Katarna and Ian Golden. Available in bookstores everywhere and on Amazon, Kindle, iBooks, and Audible.